look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed we have the lord of lords the king of kings the emmanuel god with us present here among us let us enthrone us here in our midst as we worship him as we continue to worship him let us enthrone him my brothers and sisters this is such a beautiful time that god has blessed us to come together to worship our lord and god you might have come through different situations you might have come through you might be going through different problems challenges sufferings but i want you all to completely focus on jesus today to give everything at the feet of our lord jesus and to surrender all that you're going through right now at the feet of jesus he has said come to me all those who are burdened with heavy loads and i will give you rest yes my brothers and sisters whatever you are going through right now at this moment just surrender everything to him for he is here to take care of you he is here to answer all your prayers today it's only a matter of your faith yes my brothers and sisters as we as we continue to worship our lord let us bow down let us worship him with all our heart with all our mind and with all our soul for he is a way maker he is a miracle working god he is is a promise keeping god he is a faithful god he is a compassionate god as we worship him let us give him all our praise and all our glory all our honor to him
to come to him, to come to him. He is waiting for his prodigal children to come to him and to repent for our sins and to become holy as the Holy Father wants us to be. Yes, my brothers and sisters, let us surrender all our sins at the feet of Jesus. At that time, the people had to the people had to offer sacrifices of animals of bull or goat or lamb or cow. But it was Jesus who came on this earth, who became both the high priest and the sacrificial lamb, who shed his blood for us, who took his sins for us on the cross, who gave his life for us on the cross. Once and for all he became the sacrificial lamb and took away all our sins. And because of his passion, death and resurrection, we are able to enter the Holy of the Holies and worship our Lord. Yes, my brothers and sisters, in the Old Testament, if we read, only the high priest could enter the Holy of the Holies. As I said, in the tabernacle, the innermost part was the Holy of the Holies, where the Ark of the Covenant was kept, where the presence of God was there. But today we are so blessed that we can come to Jesus at any point of time. <clears throat> yes, my brothers and sisters, we are so blessed that we can come into the presence anytime we can come to Him and we can worship Him in spirit and in truth. And it is only the power of the love of Jesus because of which our sins are forgiven. He took away all our sins on the cross and by His passion and death and resurrection we have been saved. He has redeemed us from the fire of hell and He has given us eternal salvation, my brothers and sisters. So let us come into His presence and as we sing this song, let us believe that the power of the love of our Lord Jesus Christ who came down from heaven, who took the form of a human, who went through all that pain and suffering, who died on that cross. It was our sins which He took on the cross and He died for us and by His wounds we all are healed, my brothers and sisters. So as we sing this hymn, my brothers and sisters, let us surrender all our sins, all our, all that is troubling us, or all that is coming between us and our blessings, my brothers and sisters. It is only our sins which is an obstacle between us and our and receiving the God's blessings. So let us surrender everything at the feet of Jesus right now as we take this hymn. Let us ask for his pardon and for his mercy so that we can worthily worship our Lord in spirit and in truth. We can come into his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. You will not always accuse us, nor will you keep your anger forever. You do not deal us, deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your steadfast love towards those who fear you, Lord. As far as the east is from the west, so far you remove our transgressions from us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy and for your compassion. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking away all our sins, Lord. Thank you for washing us with your precious blood, Lord Jesus. Thank you for cleansing us, purifying us and sanctifying us, Lord. And thank you for making us worthy to come into your presence today. Yes, Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you, Lord Jesus. Just like King David prayed, Lord, we also pray according to Psalm 15, verse 10, creating us a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within us. Do not cast us out of your presence, nor take your Holy Spirit from us. Yes, Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you, Lord. Bless your name, Lord Jesus. We exalt your name, Lord Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I request you all to take your comfortable posture. Sit down. We we'll listen to a small uh, reading from the Bible. I have taken passage from 2 Chronicles 20 verses 1 to 17. Yeah. So most of you I think you know about the story of uh, King Jehoshaphat. How many of you know about King Jehoshaphat here? From the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20. So, please, so I'll just read the passage first and then uh, we will go through the explanation. So it says, after this, 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 1 onwards, after this the Moabites and the Ammonites and with them some of the Meunites came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Messengers came and told in Jehoshaphat, a great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea. Already they are at as is on Tamar. Jehoshaphat was afraid. He set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim the fast for all Judah. Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the towns of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. So we need to hear this very carefully. So there is a crisis which is happening and we see King Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat responding. So what is his response? How is he taking this situation of crisis. This is a big lesson for each one of us. So I'll go through it later. Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord, God of our ancestors, are you not the God in heaven? Do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? In your hand are power and might, so that no one is able to withstand you. Do you not, O oh our God, drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of your friend Abraham? They have lived in it and in it have built you a sanctuary for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, the sport, judgment or pestilence or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house and cry to you in our distress, and you will hear and say. Then further we read, <clears throat> Then the Spirit of the Lord, so he further says, See now the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount say, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came from the land of Egypt, and whom they avoided and did not destroy. They reward us by coming to drive us out of your possession that you have given us to inherit. O oh our God, will you not execute judgment upon them? For we are powerless against this great multitude that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. So beautiful, in the time of crisis, he is not looking at the people around him, but he is looking on the Yahweh God, the mighty God, and he is saying, my eyes are on you. Brothers and sisters, today, as your children or uh, rebellious children, children are having some problems, 
and different kinds of situation we might be going through. We might be worried about the future of our children. We might be worried about our own future because of the uncertainty that is happening. So each one of us might have gone through a crisis situation, maybe in the past or even today. So what do we learn from this passage? What did King Jehoshaphat? We see we read in the first part. So first thing was he he was fearful, right? He became fearful. That is very natural, even for us. When we go through a crisis, like when we lose a job or maybe a sickness, like a cancer or some other terrible sickness, we, when we hear about it, it's so fearful, isn't it? I remember when I lost my job in 2014 December before I came to Qatar. My first reaction was I was scared, I was fearful because because uh, I had a family to take care, I had taken a loan, and uh, I was worried about that. But the second thing what Jehoshaphat did is he didn't give up to fear. He didn't panic, right? He didn't give up to fear. He, what he did, he went to seek the Lord, and that's what we all need to do in times of crisis. We need to go and seek the Lord rather than going to people, going to uh, friends and family members, and asking them, asking them rather than first first thing is to seek the Lord. That's what King Jehoshaphat did. We read in the first two verses. <clears throat> yeah, so Jehoshaphat was afraid. He set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim the fast throughout all Judah. So he asked all the people in Judah. He was the king, so he gave an order for all the people to fast and pray for this, because it was a major thing. Three kingdoms were coming together to attack Judah, and they didn't have the power to fight those three kings, those three kingdoms. So what he does is. So that is what we also need to do today. We don't have to, if we are fearful, if we are afraid about what will happen tomorrow, about the situation that we are going through, do not fear, my brothers and sisters, because our Lord Jesus is here. So let us seek Him today. Let us come into His presence. We are already in His presence now, and this is the time we need to surrender everything that we are going through. The second important point what we learn from King Jehoshaphat is how to pray in times of crisis. Two beautiful things we can learn from here. Jehoshaphat remembered who God was. Right? He is telling God, "You are the God who has saved our, who has saved our ancestors. You are the God who fought for us." So that is what we also need to do. We, we should remember the past graces, the past blessings of our God. What God had did in the past for us. Maybe uh, we might have gone through a sickness or a jobless situation or some other situation. And how God redeemed us in that situation in the past. So God can also do the same today for us, just like in Jehoshaphat prayed. The Lord, just as you redeemed the people of Israel, just as you saved them, Lord, you can do this for you. You can do this for me. And then he remembers and he reminded the Lord of His promises. And the second thing, what he did is he's reminding God of His promises. Our God is a faithful God. The word of God, we read so much. We, there are so many beautiful promises in the word of God, and every promise of the word of God is true and living. The word of God is living; it's a double-edged sword. Yes, my brothers and sisters, there is power in the word. So when we read about the miracles of Jesus in the gospel, in the book, in the gospels of Matthew, Luke, there are so many miracles which Jesus did. He healed so many people. He healed the blind, he healed the deaf, he healed the dumb. He even brought the dead back to life. He fed the five thousand people with five loaves and two fishes. So nothing is impossible for our God. Our God is a God who can make the impossible possible, isn't it? So when we read the Word of God, when we hear the Word of God, our faith increases. The Word of God says, "Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God." So even Jephthah uh, Joshua did the same. He remembered what God had done. He remembered the promises of God, and he is praying the same to God. He is telling the same thing to God. And then we see the response of, and he says, "Oh my God, I am unsure of what to do, but my eyes are on you." So in every crisis situation, my brothers and sisters, we don't have to look here and there, but we just need to look on Jesus. We can sit with Jesus looking at Him in the Blessed Sacrament. We can pray to Him during the Holy Mass. We can put our intentions to Him. And today, this is a beautiful time we are gathered today for this time of adoration. So I request you all, whatever prayer intentions you have, those who are not written down in those in those uh, sheets of paper that we kept here, you can just offer them at the at the time when we pray now. 
and we see the response of God. So how is God responding to his prayers? The spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel. He was a Levite. The Levites were the people who were chosen to be the priests from the during the time of uh, during those the Old Testament. And what God is telling to Jehaziel, do not be afraid nor dismayed. The battle is not yours but God. Such a beautiful promise God is giving us. Such comforting words. At this moment, all of us are going through some battle, isn't it? Some struggle, some challenges we are going through. But God is telling each one of us, this battle is not yours. It is mine. Our God will fight the battle on our behalf and He will make us victorious. Amen. So, our Emmanuel God is with us right now and we are in His presence. So, as we take this next hymn, I request you all to surrender every situation, every challenges that you are going through right now. And just don't worry about anything, any person that is besides you. Be free, my brothers and sisters, to try to uh, to do whatever God tells you to do. Don't don't worry about the people around you. Just surrender everything to Jesus. Surrender the crisis situation that you are going through right now. Offer to the Lord, offer to Jesus. He is here and He is present here right now. And He will fight your battle, my brothers and sisters. He will fight every battle for us, and He will make us victorious, just as He fought. The battle for Jehoshaphat. You know what happened? King Jehoshaphat, as they prayed and they followed what God told them, as they marched toward, as they marched to, uh, to fight the enemies, God told them, "You don't have to do anything. I will fight the battle." So what he did is he put his praise and worship leaders in front of the army, and they started praising and worshiping God. And you know what happened? The, the confusion happened in the enemy camp. And those three kingdoms, they fought with each other and killed each other. They didn't even have to fight the battle, my brothers and sisters. Such a powerful God they serve. And that is the power of faith. When we pray in faith, when we surrender to God, He is there to fight our battles. But it is only our faith which can heal us, which can bless us. Because when Jesus also did the miracles, He said, your faith has healed you. So my brothers and sisters, I want you to have faith. When we have heard this beautiful passage of King Jehoshaphat, how he prayed in faith and how God fought his battle. So even today, for each one of us, God will fight our battles. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So let, as we take this hymn, I surrender. I want you all to surrender all your problems, all your challenges, all the difficulties that you are going through right now. And uh, our God will fight his battle for us. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Wash us clean, Lord. Purify us and sanctify us, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, you said in the gospel, Lord, you healed so many demons, Lord. And you gave power and authority to your apostles to heal and to deliver. And so also, Lord, you have given us that power and authority in your name, Lord Jesus. And you take that authority in your name, Lord Jesus, to break every chain, every bondage in our lives, Lord. To bring, bring healing and restoration, Lord, in our lives, oh Lord Jesus. It is whatever area that we are praying for, maybe a sickness, maybe a job, maybe the gift of a child, maybe the gift of a life partner, maybe those who are praying for visas, maybe those who are praying for their children, for their bright future, or maybe praying for children who are rebellious, who are away from God, or those who have got into bad friendship or, or any kind of addictions or whatever. Let us offer to Jesus in the name, this mighty name. Let us pray today. Let every bondage be broken, every change be broken today. And let there be healing and restoration in our sicknesses or in, the, in our finances or in our family life. Whatever area that we are looking for, that we are praying for at this moment. Let us pray that every change and every bondage be broken in the name of Jesus. For there is power in His name, there is healing in His name, there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is peace in the name of Jesus. There is restoration in the name of Jesus. There is power in His presence, my Lord, brothers, brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. We come into Your presence, Lord, and in Your mighty name, Lord Jesus, we offer every intention of our brothers and sisters. All those intentions we have put forth in those in that basket, we offer them at this time. And we pray upon these prayer intentions of our brothers and sisters are put with a lot of faith and a lot of hope in you, my Lord Jesus. For you are the mighty God and Savior. You are the Redeemer, Lord Jesus. You are the Healer. You are the Jehovah Jireh, the Wider, Lord Jesus. The Jehovah Rapha, Healer. Jehovah Rokia, Good Shepherd, Lord. Jehovah Shalom, our everlasting peace, Lord. You are the peacemaker. You are the giver of peace, the peace that nothing can take away from us, Lord Jesus. We need that peace in our life. We need, we need that peace in our families, oh God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your beautiful name, for your powerful name, for your wonderful name, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord, brothers and sisters, let us offer everything at this time. This is the time, my brothers and sisters. In faith, offer everything that you're going through. The prayers that you are waiting for to answer, offer everything at the feet of Jesus. Because there is power in His name, there is healing in His name, there is deliverance in His name. There is power in the blood of Jesus, there is healing in the blood of Jesus, there is deliverance in the blood of Jesus. Chains are broken, bondages are broken in His name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Glory you, Lord Jesus.
anybody say your name, Lord Jesus? There is victory in your name, Lord Jesus. Chains are broken in your name, Lord Jesus. Bondages are broken in your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus.
palavra em meu lengua, Jesus. É escrito em meu lengua, Jesus. Se eles devem poder dizer em meu lengua, Jesus. Pai que nós nos contemos a droga de meu lengua, Jesus. Mostre-nos a droga de meu lengua, Jesus. E para ser escrito em meu lengua, Jesus. Mas a palavra que eu fechei as lágrimas, Jesus. Me alta a ser escrito, Jesus. Pai que nós nos contemos. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Adore you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Somebody is seeking an answer. The Lord is saying at the right time, I will make it happen. I will make it happen at the right time. I'll open up that door for you at the right time. I will show you the way, the direction at the right time. Let us all bring it on. I need to see this, please. Dear brothers and sisters, we have all gathered here to worship Jesus Christ. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? Praise God. Our God
Jesus has called us all personally by name. Personally has chosen us, called us by name. For what? For a specific mission. You are a pearl. You are a pearl in the eyes of God. You are a blessing. And this is what we need to experience, feel. Many a time we don't feel that we are pearl, we are blessing in the life of others. Many a time we call ourselves, oh, I'm a useless person. I cannot do anything. But no, my dear brothers and sisters, you are precious in the eyes of God. Because who has called you is Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. He called many others. He called his apostles. Who were they? They were just ordinary people, fishing folks who did not know anything except fishing. And this were the people who God Jesus chooses, calls. And they readily follow him, especially Peter. When God calls him, he readily follows him. When he goes along with Jesus on the mountain, he says, Lord, it is nice to be here. What Jesus tells him? Come down. We are not supposed to stay only here. Because Peter says, let's build a tent. It's nice here on the mountain. It's so cozy life. Jesus tells him, let's go down. What is the meaning of going down? Having the experience of God, praying, now let us go down to serve the people. Yes. With the strength of prayer, we are called to be the people of service, especially to the needy. Many a time we have thought only about ourselves. What I will benefit forgetting my brothers and sisters in need. And today, Jesus is reminding us, saying, You are a blessing. You are a pearl. Yes. Let us utilize the gifts given by Jesus to us for the betterment of the world. Simon Peter, who was ready to do anything for Jesus, he denied Jesus, right? How many times? Three times he denied Jesus. Jesus knew that. And Jesus had told him before all you will deny me three times. And during that time, what Peter said? No. I will never deny you as a human was speaking. But when he denied, he cried. He cried. The tears were not important. But what was important for his conversion was the gaze. He sees Jesus face to face in the eyes and Jesus says to him, eye to eye contact. And looking at Jesus, what happens? A beautiful thing happens. Peter changes his life. Peter repents. He cries. He weeps. And again we see in the so many episodes of Peter, he believed, also he doubted. And because of doubting, he was drowning in the sea. He was drowning. Just did Jesus leave him there because of his doubting? No. Jesus gives him a hand and tells him, Peter, believe me, trust me more, do not doubt. And the same thing Jesus is telling us. Do not doubt. Do not many times we too might have denied Jesus because of our selfish interest. But this denier, Peter, turned to be a believer. The denier changes to be a believer. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Jesus is reminding us. We all of us have made mistakes. We have sinned. But today Jesus is telling us, my child, get up. He is stretching his hands to us and telling us beautiful thing. That is, I am there with you always. These are the comforting words of Jesus. I am there with you always. Let us learn from Simon Peter how to leave our faith. Second personality whom I was thinking about reflecting is our mother Mary. She was an ordinary girl, simple without sin. And when the message of God comes to her, she was terrified. She was scared. She did not know what to do, what to tell. But she surrenders her total life to God and says yes to the will of God. And when she said yes to the will of God, what happened? Did she enjoy the life? 
now from that very yes she had to face lot of problems challenges she had to face but did she give up did she complain was she worried no my dear friends she never but was worried because she believed in the word of god and that word of god gave her the opportunity or the grace to go to heaven body and soul and there she was crowned as the queen of heaven praise god praise god yes this is the beauty of god we have all faltered and now we are gathered here to praise god to worship him and to surrender our life in the hands of god let us continue always to surrender our life in the hands of the lord there will be problems difficulties but let us believe in the word of god and that word of god will give us satisfaction which we are experiencing now yes let us continue to worship god as we see the final blessing from jesus let us kindly be Oh, oh, oh. 
Because God has given us a 
authority to grab on snakes and scorpions. Use this power, use this word. So many of us are afraid, don't use this word, don't, don't have knowledge of that. So use the name of Jesus in our life, in our family, in our situation. And don't worry, God is going to do the rest. You only believe. Hallelujah. So we sing the last song in the name of Jesus.